what is going on youtube sync these here bringing you a new video and um mud leaves drops a bit of information that i wanted to go over i felt that you all should be aware of um basically the gist of this is just what these abilities actually do um so that you can get a better understanding of what you will possibly want to put on the three players uh with certain abilities on offense and defense um, so let's get into it. As of Madden 20, the ability system was massively massively overhauled. Um, abilities in Madden 20 act as global overrides, with many individual mechanics strung together to achieve the intended effect of the ability. The following charts show what mechanics are utilized by what abilities. So, um, I don't think this is the first one. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. All right, so armbar, running the elite stiff arm mechanic window and then obviously it breaks tackles it or it it makes a broken tackle animation a uh, bulldozer um you have the elite truck mechanic window and uh you also have the elite truck broken tackle animation a uh, bruiser you have the elite truck mechanic window and then you have the elite truck broken tackle animation along with the elite stiff arm so it is basically armbar and bulldozer together what that's bruiser uh, armbar and bulldozer together you have both these broken tackle animations and broken stiff arm animations put together uh let's get into some some of the quarterback animations sleight of hand passing pump fake pass rushers jump so your ends and your your linebackers that are blitzing you basically make them jump and then when you're also pump, uh, pump faking, you have a guaranteed fake out. So it doesn't matter. Like, I guess it doesn't matter. As long as you have this ability, you you basically have a guaranteed fake out chance against pass rushers, uh, DBs, and things of that nature. How well does it work? Well, we don't really know. But this is what this ability does. Let's get into anchored extender. Um always break sack by db i have seen this happen before um the only thing about anchored extender is basically trying to um get away from that second db that may be blitzing but more times than not you will always always break the first sack um and then it says uh passing allow power break sack animation so you have a various animation for breaking the sack as well with anchor extender let's get into agile extender you always break a sack by a db and then you also um allow agile break sack animation so um your yeah, michael vicks your yeah, randall cunningham's and things like that this is what agile extender um does anchored extender is for your um i want to say your pocket passers your cam newtons bigger bigger type players and things of that nature that's what those basically um help you do break the sack and things of that nature let's get into gunslinger um passing path strength mod so um with gunslinger you have a a stronger pass i believe um you have extra distance before hail mary pass animation and then you have a pass speed so gunslinger increases the your strength well your pass strength so your so your pass power i believe the distance in which the ball travels and then the speed in which the ball gets there so that's what gunslinger does for your qbs um the only one i believe who has that at the moment is aaron Rodgers. but if i'm mistaken please correct me down in the comment section so now we're getting into some offense alignment abilities and i think this one is what i don't even think people use secure protector anymore but um secure protector was to block defensive move outcome and a defense super win um it's also secure pass blocker initial timer so it's a timer on secure pass blocker and then um you have to block the standard outcome of the defense super win um that didn't work that's why people don't use this ability anymore um block upgraded no block upgrade defense win to super and then it says defensive move yeah so let's get into edge protector um you block can defensive move outcome so whatever the defense comes out in if he, he's a finesse uh move specialist you block it automatically 
and then it says signature interior blocker and then signature outside blocker for edge protector so you blocking it blocks anything on the edge if, if you want to go inside he's blocking out if you want to if the defend defensive end wants to come outside or inside he blocks both of that basically shuts down the move that's what edge protector does i have that on my um lane johnson at the moment and he's pretty much doing great i need i, I need trent williams to get another car so i can put it on him uh that way i can shut down any edge threats and things like that on against my uh offensive line and we have puller elite it says always impact block and it says force impact outcome versus linebackers and force impact outcome versus DBs. I used Puller Elite and it did not work. I don't know if the impact block was too low for this to work. It said the offense was supposed to win, but it just didn't happen. As we all know, Nasty Street got patched. But um, let's just move on because Nasty Street got patched and Puller Elite basically does not work. But yeah, it just doesn't work anymore. It got patched. Pin and pull guru, inside guru, outside zone guru. Um, basically, you the block shed initial timer has a penalty, um, and you push the power, you get an automatic win. So if you've been using the push the power mechanic, you automatically win with these abilities on. If you have the NFL 100 running backs who all who have these abilities and things of that nature, this is the reason why you're able to run all over the. Uh, the defense or if you played against guys who had these abilities this is why you can't get a block shed because the, the block shed initial timer is delayed basically um all day which i use on my i i, I should say used um pocket degradation timer penalty so you get a little bit more time in the pocket protected which hasn't come out yet i don't believe it says running uh, when you're running the ball, block shed initial timer has a penalty. And then pre-play your pass block targeting helper logic. I don't know what that is. And then when you're passing pocket degradation, timer has a penalty as well. We have yet to see this ability in full action. But once we do, I guess we'll know if it works or not. Is If it's ability to you know, invest in and things of that nature. Fast break. These are for your... Uh, agile quarterbacks or uh your your quarterbacks that can basically get get loose um block shed initial timer penalty so once again you can't block shed immediately you have push the pile which is the automatic win and then the qb can abort initial move so if you're going left you could go right going right you could go left things of that nature let's get into these other ones because he ha he has a lot bro the he posted a lot um yeah let's get into wide receivers in and out elite um catching you force a spec catch you block catch tackle outcome knockout um oh so in and out elite you can block a catch tackle outcome underscore the, so basically they saying so if, if you have in and out elite and your receiver is in a in a a battle with a DB. You block the outcome of a knockout. You can disable post catch knocks out knockouts. So when your receiver does a post route and the DB is trailing him or he might be behind him, you disable the post catch knockout. A receiver went on cut. That actually happens when you you cut. You autom the receiver automatically wins. And you disable physics force knockout, which we basically just talked about. And you block MP catch outcome. So, underscore drop knockout. Not, under sure what, not really sure what that one means, but let's get into the next one. Post flag elite. Literally the same thing. If you have these abilities, it basically makes your receiver able to catch the ball a little bit more. Um, cross specialist is obviously... You know, going across the field and things of that nature. But they basically all do the same thing. They basically help your receiver catch the ball. It's basically what they're saying. He wins on the cut. Um, if he wins on the cut and you throw him the ball, it's really hard for him to get the ball knocked out of his hands. Um, I will say this. 
make sure your receiver isn't tired when when you're utilizing these abilities. Because if they're tired, you will get these knockouts. You will have things of that nature. And then ratings come into a, a play after that. So be sure to remember all of that for these abilities. Backfield Master. Um, it says force a spec catch, which actually, um, I at the beginning of the game, this was the best ability for my Clinton Porters. He was just annihilating uh, linebackers and things like that. Uh, he wins on the cuts, basically, uh, versus low-rated non-DBs. Enable backfield route master pre-play. Um, whoa, he's not a backfield master. He had backfield mismatch. I read that wrong. But um, this is going to be clutch when it gets released. I don't know if Barry Sander has it yet. I think you have to be a 95 overall running back to receive it, but we should be seeing that soon after Christmas. Um, you force MP catch win versus linebacker. Yeah. Um, so pretty much backfield master is basically you can spec catch win over a de uh, defensive lineman, a linebacker, and then on you can win on cuts versus low rated defensive backs. Um, double move elite, basically the same thing. Slant specialist and specialist, same thing as the uh wide receiver abilities as well. Um, post specialist, three streak specialist, same thing. Um, but grab and go. I want to get into grab and go, return man, and joystick. These three abilities, um, grab and go. I think I believe Dante Hall. Tyreek Hill have grab and go. This ability allows them to swerve the hell out of you. And I think it's going to be used a lot more once a lot of receivers get that get this ability because you're able to just take off after you catch a pass. If you run a curl and a, a DB gets caught like two or three yards away from you because your, your, your ratings are so high and things of that nature, this ability to just go without hesitating with that, that acceleration is going to be crazy in the future. It's going to be hard to tackle. So make sure if you're if you're an offensive threat, um, passing the ball and things like that, pick up, grab, and go. It will save your life.